The Lego Ninjago movie is the third in the now feature film franchise of Lego movies that have consistently surprised me. The first one I had no anticipation for. It was actually really good. Same with Lego Batman. But Lego Batman is a character and a world that has so much richness in it already that Lego could pull from so much and really appeal to a wide demographic of people. Ninjago? That's a lot more shrunk down to one core demographic. So this is our first Lego movie that is less of a satire and is more of an action adventure for families. There are jokes that are a little boundary pushing and there's definitely humor for adults and there's stuff that kids aren't going to get. But out of the three, this is easily so far the most that's just aimed for families in general. So Lloyd, voiced by Dave Franco, is the son of Garmadon, this evil guy who's trying to take over the city of Ninjago, voiced by Justin Thoreau. Because he's the son of this evil guy, everyone treats him like crap, despite the fact that he's trying to be a normal person, when in secret, He's the green ninja of the Ninjago clan, and they all fight against Garmadon. So like I said, the general feel when it comes to these Lego movies was that most people thought the first one was just going to be a terrible product placement movie. And it turned out to be pretty great and a lot more clever than everyone thought. Lego Batman is part of a franchise that people respect and like, and you go into that after the first one expecting something pretty cool. To take the step down from Batman to Ninjago, which is a very popular property and has a TV show that a lot of people like, but nevertheless, you must admit, it's nowhere near as popular as something like Batman, people are going to go into this more judgmental, because this is the first one that looks like, okay, they might be outstaying their welcome. And that's all thoughts that you can have going into this movie. And that's dangerous. It's always hard to not have expectations going into a movie, but I tried really hard to not think that way, and I found myself enjoying this movie. Is it as good as the previous two? No, this is easily the worst of the three. As I said, it's nowhere near as satirical or smart. This is more of a straightforward action adventure comedy for kids. But the animation is undeniably spectacular. The city of Ninjago is perhaps better realized than Gotham City was in Lego Batman. It feels like a real breathing Lego city. The voice work as well is some of the best that I've heard in an animated film this year, particularly Dave Franco, Justin Thoreau, and Jackie Chan. And I laughed semi-consistently and found myself enjoying the look of the film. However, it at times can get extremely conventional because it follows a plot that we have all heard 10,000 times. A kid in school, in this case a Lego, is unpopular. In reality, he's doing really cool stuff and everyone should really like him. And he has a family member who's evil and they're going to have to figure out how to be friends eventually. Like, I mean, it's a plot we've seen 10,000 times over. And I wish the film poked fun at it more. Because that's something that the other Lego movies did, particularly the Lego Batman movie. Poked fun so much at Batman's history, his backstory. This film didn't do that as much as I wanted, unfortunately. It has your basic plot that we've all seen many times, and it doesn't do much to go beyond that. And it is sort of locked in the confines of this Ninjago world where it doesn't really feel like there is that much more to get into beyond some cool action sequences and some quippy lines here and there. So it's not as good as the first two, but I still think this is a perfectly acceptable animation based off of Lego characters. And when you look at it from that perspective, this film is mostly successful, and I really think that kids are probably going to enjoy this film and that adults can be okay with watching it. But as I said, it's nowhere near as good as the first two. It is bookended by two live-action sequences featuring the real Jackie Chan, which I thought were really charming. I'm a big fan of his, and I like seeing him do really anything in a movie unless it's the spy next door. <laughs> Can you mommy do that? So I think if you lower your expectations a bit, expecting it to not be as good as the last two, you'll probably think it's okay at best, which is how I felt. I'm gonna give the Lego Ninjago movie a B minus. Guys, thank you so much as always for watching. I just had a humongous influx of reviews because there were so many movies that came out this weekend I wanted to talk about. I really appreciate you guys watching them. Also, I want to make sure you guys know that my promotion with Audible is still going on. If you guys go to audible.com slash Chris, you can start your free 30-day trial. If you're a voracious reader like myself, but you don't always have the time to sit down and read a book and you want to do it on the go, 
They have an unbeatable selection of audiobooks with tons of celebrities and really amazing people who have provided the narration for these books. If you go to audible.com slash Chris, you can have a free 30-day trial. Audible makes getting more books in your life considerably easier, and I appreciate the fact that they have continued to sponsor my videos. It helps me out quite a bit, and I know it's helped out a lot of you guys too. Thank you very much as always for watching, and if you like this, you can click right here and get stuckmanized.